Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, we are going to see how we can use comments feature that is there in newly uh, in SharePoint Online as well as in Microsoft lists also. So that means basically user can go and add comments to a particular list item in a SharePoint Online site or also if you have if you are using Microsoft list app. Uh, which is the new app and I have also made uh, videos on that you can have a uh, look at those videos I'll put uh, the link in the video description so if you have created a list in the Microsoft list uh, 365 app then you can also add comments into that so we will see both the things and then I'll show you how we can use uh, uh, our PowerShell to uh, disable the commenting so uh, let's see so what I'll do is I'll open a SharePoint online site uh, you can see here this is a uh, modern SharePoint online site and this feature is available in the modern site not in the classic site so if you look at this uh, if you just hover it you can see there is a comment box is there uh, this one add a comment and uh, also if you select this uh, you can see the comments is coming so you can click over here and then it will basically open the uh, properties uh, pan uh, you can see and here you can add comments the other way is you can click on this triple dot and then you can see also comments uh, comment link so this is the same uh, thing will open in all three cases so you can say let's say i will say comment one and you can just click over there and then one comment has been added if you want to add multiple comments so you'll put comment uh, let's say two and uh, then you can say close your once you close uh, and then if you'll come back here uh, by default in the view you cannot add as a column uh, for example if you will say you know uh, go to so hide columns you will not be able to see a comments column here uh, so the other way how we can see the comments for that particular item you can see here now in none of the cases this is not highlighted uh, here you can see add a comment but here it will show two comments are there and you can click over the icon and you will be able to see the comments here and uh, let's say i'll add one more comments here so let's say i will say comment three uh, you can see here now you can see the highlighted icon so basically in the list view you cannot show th uh, that way uh, you can use this icon symbol so this is the way you, you will be able to see the comments and if you want to delete the comment so let's say you want to delete a comment from here just click over it and then just uh, when you hover it uh, you will see a delete icon so you have to click on delete and then the comment has been deleted um, you cannot as of now you cannot edit a comment so for example you will see i want to edit this comment you will not be able to do that so the best way is you can delete the comment and then you can add your new comments over there and you cannot even do a nester commenting here uh, whatever the comments you will add it will be flat for this particular item that that's you that's what you can do so this is how in the modern uh, SharePoint list you can add the comments. Uh, now if you are using Microsoft list app, so if you'll click over here, let's say I'll go to the list app and here you can create a list directly. You can see here. Um, so let's say I'll uh, click on uh, new list or uh, I, have a, I have I have a couple of videos on that. So let's say there is a holidays uh, list is there. Hopefully the list is there. You can see here. Um, this is the holiday list and you click over this uh, icon comment icon and you will see the same structure so basically uh, it is same for SharePoint online list items as well as for Microsoft list apps uh, list items so you can add the comments so let's say I'll say comment uh, one and uh, the same way you can see here the comment one is appearing all these things are same so if you click over here and then you can see comment is there and also the same way you, when you select a particular item you can see comments here so you click on that and then you will be able to visit that comment page uh, now this is on microsoft lists app so if you are using classic sharepoint uh, till uh, for example let's say you are using the classic team site and then you have list uh, then in those scenarios what we usually do is uh, we create a multi-line text box for example uh, let's say i'll quickly create a list here so I, i'll go to add an app um, now let's say i'll create a custom list here uh, the custom list let's say employees and uh, in this uh, what we usually do is uh, let's say this is the employees list 
by default you can see it is coming in modern so return to classic so you'll be able to come to the classic experience you can see here and you will not get that option what are the commenting six things we discussed because that's purely on the modern sharepoint side now if you want to add comments here this is a classic approach for this you can add a column here so you can go to the list and then click on add column and uh, let's say i will give comments and here uh, you can say multi-line uh, text and in the multi-line text one thing that you will do here is you can see this append changes to existing uh, text so click on yes so that every time it will not override so your changes will be there and uh, next time you are modifying you are doing something then uh, the changes will be there so click on ok uh, you can see here you first turn on versioning so uh, just go there and then uh, list settings uh, go to versioning settings and then just enable it so you can say create versioning so create versioning and uh, just click on ok ok let's put some number here so now um, we can go to that particular column so the column is comments and on this uh, you can see here append changes to existing text that's quite important uh, click on ok so once you have this now go to the employees list and if you'll say add new item uh, for example i will say item one and here let's say i will say comment uh, one i'll click on save uh, so next time let's say you want to add it and you will get a view entries so uh, for every uh, every comments things uh, let's say i'll go here and you can see this is the comment how it is appearing if you edit this item and uh, let's say i will add uh, you know comments uh, comments to uh, just save it and then if you'll say view entries you will be able to see both the things you can see uh, comment one and then uh, comment two so whoever modified this uh, you will be able to see that uh, this is how we can use usually we use in the SharePoint online uh, list classic experience if you are still using it you can use this approach you can follow this approach um, but if you are using modern list then uh, you have the comment uh, icon is there and you can do or you can add your comments to each and every list items uh, like the way I explained um, last thing I will show you is uh, as of now you cannot disable it uh, uh, your commenting from the list settings anywhere for example if I'll go to uh, let's say I'll go to the list here um, I'll go here uh, let me just open the SharePoint site here so the, if this is the modern site where, where uh, modern modern site where we uh, saw the commencing thing and if you'll go to the settings and list settings uh, you will not see uh, the advanced settings all these uh, existing things are there um, you will not see an option where you can enable or disable the commenting things that is still not there but it, as, as a tenant where you can disable it and uh, this is the command so make sure you install SharePoint online management shell I have couple of videos for the same how we can use PowerShell with SharePoint online and uh, connect hyphen spo service hyphen url and this is your tenant name uh, you have to give the admin center url basically so tenant name hyphen admin dot sharepoint dot com and then set hyphen spo or uh, tenant uh, then hyphen comments on list item disabled so uh, you can make it to true or false so true it will be disabled so you will not see the commenting things and if you will make it to false then uh, you will be able to see the comments in comments in the list item so that's how I am not going to disable it in the new tenant uh, but this is how uh, this is how it will work I have done this in an existing uh, tenant it is working fine so this will work fine so uh, that's it for today's video and if you want similar kind of videos then subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of free videos like this on office 365 SharePoint online SPFX power platform uh, other technology like javascript jquery rest api all these videos you will get it free uh, thank you and have a nice day